Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Doom series and in this video we are going to learn about dynamic array implementations which is going to be very useful in our future videos. Okay so we are going to begin here by opening up the dynamic array.h header file adding hash to prag11 and we are going to include stdlib.h and stddef.h. Uh, these are the header files that we will need and uh, we want to make a generic array that can use different types so macros will be our best bet for it since C doesn't have templates. So we are going to define dynamic array type and it will essentially declare an anonymous structure of that type. So uh, this will declare an anonymous structure type uh, so we will just go ahead and add the count capacity and the size of each element and then we'll have a pointer to that type of the data and that type will be determined by the macro argument so we'll have that and we'll have a function here for dynamic array initialization and it will just take the array and the initial capacity of the array and we'll put this in a do while loop look as a standard practice this prevents any issues with uh, using it in else uh, if else or stuff like that so here we are going to use the do while loop and inside of this we are going to first of all set the array's count to zero then the capacity to zero and uh, well actually the capacity to initial capacity and uh, mm, well actually this is not pointer so we need to change this to dot uh, and the final thing we are going to set its element size to uh, well let's just uh, set that to for example uh, let's say mm, you know we will need to find the element size so we could take the arc type as an argument but a better way is to just store a dummy value of that type in the dynamic array we can't store a type in C but we can get the dummy type of the C and use size of operator on that and that will give us a size and what is in the dummy doesn't really matter because we are never going to actually use it we are just getting the size of that which is the same as the size of its type uh, anyways we are going to check if the initial capacity is greater than zero and if it is then we are going to set the array's data and we are going to allocate the memory for it and for the size we are going to get the element size so the actual size of one element and multiply that by the whole capacity and we are only going to do this if the initial capacity is uh, greater than zero otherwise uh, if it's zero then we don't really care about that so now we need to start implementing the next thing so this is the initialization and stuff done now we can implement actually freeing an array so we are going to define a dynamic array free uh, macro here and that will just take an array we will put a do while loop similarly here and what we will do is that we will set the uh, count of that to uh, zero and we'll also set the capacity to zero and uh, we'll not uh, don't we won't change the element size and then if the capacity was greater than zero well actually we need to do this earlier uh, never mind so if the capacity is greater than zero we are going to free the array's data otherwise we are not going to do that and uh, in the end we are going to just use dynamic array push here and uh, uh, this is the final macro which will add a new element to the dynamic array and uh, uh, this will take the value along with the array and first of all we will uh, for the actual setting of the value we are just going to get the data increment the count use the value and set that to this value that we have got now of course this is not really as simple as this because we need to also make sure that uh, uh, we uh, appropriately resize it that's why it's a dynamic array so if the dynamic array is count plus one is greater than or equal to the uh, you know value of the capacity then in that case what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, uh, well basically we need to reallocate uh, the array so here we will first of all check if the array's capacity earlier was uh, less than 8 if it was then we will just set it to 8 then you can of course choose any number you want depending on how you want this to do work but uh, we'll just do it this way and that is all where we really need after that we actually need to allocate the data here for the capacity and of course uh, if we allocate the data we just use malloc like we did earlier the element size multiplied by the capacity uh, otherwise if that's not the case the capacity is already greater than 8 then we're going to just double the capacity and then we're going to realloc to reallocate the memory and we're going to reallocate with the array and data and we're going to just use the size similarly here so after that, that's going to pretty much uh, uh, going to work. Uh, put the semicolon and everything, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all the code we need. And I think I missed a brace here, so we're gonna just add this here, and uh, this is inside of the if we need to put it outside. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all we need to do in order to make our array work. Anyways, guys, this is going to be pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll make more interesting stuff with this dynamic array that we have created. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. And share this video with other people. And bye.